Hi, welcome to another episode of Hot Takes on this fine bank holiday Monday morning. It's early doors have been up, I've walked the dog. I know, far too early for that. A uh, bit nippy out though, did have to put my jacket on. But anyway, um, we have news here where things are not always as they seem when it comes to Scotland's finances. We have no problem, they keep saying. Oh, we can manage this. We are wonderful. We don't need help. We can do everything because we are so good. And that's why we demand an independent Scotland. This is all the sort of thing the SNP push. However, it's been revealed that they are dipping into just about every fund of non-essential money to try and fund pay rises for the public sector. Pay rises that are only coming about because of the weakness of the Labour Party at Westminster and the weakness of the SNP in Scotland, where they've overfunded some groups and all the others are thinking, me too. Well, now money set aside for restoration projects uh, and natural environmental projects and things like that and protection of woodlands or heathlands and, and so forth uh, has all been pulled. It's been taken back because they've got to fund the bin men or they've got to fund the teachers and all sorts. Now, um, as SNP uh, ministers have written to the councils requesting that they don't spend money on these things and that they use any excess budgetary items of a non-essential nature to pay the pay rises so that the SNP government looks good by not having the bin men go on strike. Um, and, you know, this, this particular pot of money is used for uh, local issues, uh, for, you know, for natural situations, um, tree planting, uh, cleaning of canals, that sort of thing. But now that's gone. That's gone. So no more trees being planted, which is a shame considering they cut down 16 million of them to put up the big bird choppers. You think they might want to put some back. Uh, and now uh, all the biodiversity will die. All the, the, the canals will turn into ship filled sewers, open sewers, all this sort of thing, uh, just so that the bin men can have a little pay rise. And that's before the teachers go, oh, me too. And then the policemen say, I'd like a pay rise. And the office workers are like, oh, I'm finding it a bit hard to make ends meet. Can we have a pay rise too? And then it spreads like a virus. And everyone in the public sector wants those huge, big, unaffordable pay rises. But that's weak government for you. So what are they going to cut next? Well, education's not that important, is it? Yeah, let's close all the schools just so that, uh, you know, the, the grave diggers can have a pay rise and the mortuary workers can have a pay rise. Oh, and I'm sure there's a typist in an office somewhere in Clackmannanshire that uh, needs to have an extra 53% pay rise and so forth. When then what? Oh, well, hospitals, they're a bit overrated, aren't they? What a way to run a country. Anyway, I'll stop there before I get angry. Thanks a lot. Take care. Good start to the day. Enjoy it. If there's any sun where you are, have a good day. It's bank holiday, so I wouldn't hold your breath. Bye.